Guys, I couldn't whack out the video in the end about Grand Premio uh, Valenciano, but I thought we'd do this video and said it's the, big, the biggest red flags of Manor a Cook's unit and need to back off the training. Now, in the summer of 2022, I was not in the best condition of my life. I thought I was, but alas, we were not. So anyway, we're, we're going to go through a couple of things. So that I'd say this is really when it started off. Um, we had some big weeks in coma, which basically cooked me. You can see here, like some big hours here, six, six, five hours five hours and anyway had some not suboptimal recovery um and then was trying to crack out some intervals and what you'll see is like a phase of doing intervals but no numbers coming out with comments like not feeling good um so you can see here like three minutes at like 365 which isn't that crazy heart rate only gets up to 180 that's the big red flag so when the heart rate's not getting up big red flag so that's number one when you're doing intervals and you can't get it done you'll see this 20 minute test here Pretty useless. Uh, start off strong, but 318 for 20 is not good for me um, at all. So sad one there. Anyway, you can see here we started some doing some intervals again. This is with my new set FTP. So you think, okay, should be easy day out. So do the first ones. Uh, 322 average. Okay, not too bad. Can't complete the second one. Oh, I know that's a big red flag. So we're already deep in overtraining. 310 watts, which you think is like a basically... Um, completely sub threshold finished that four minutes off managed to do just about the next one but then couldn't finish the last one so pretty soft then cracked out this effort here which is like 330 watts for like seven minutes so what you'll see is again not finishing interval sessions that's not good you can see all the rest of my rides are fine like i did this four hour ride here and this again is another classic like normal power 167 i didn't have heart rate on actually we'll go for maybe this ride here instead you can see like normal as 192. Um, I didn't have heart rate. Okay, I had heart rate in a little bit. But anyway, you can see here, pretty cooked. But like road racing, actually okay. Like 280 normalized, finished ninth in this one. So not too bad. Um, but this one again, 190 heart, I normalized almost 126 heart rate. That's super low. So that's one thing is when your endurance rides are really low, big red flags. So we've got two big red flags, or well, three actually. Intervals, heart rate doesn't go up can't complete intervals when you probably should be able to, even though the brain said yes. You could see on this one, I was trying to crack it out. Like I was so motivated, but no. Endurance rides, heart rate ridiculously low. Race performance, don't trust it because you can just get the body to do magical stuff in races that can't happen. You can see heart rate is pretty low, like 170 uh, average for 280 normalized. It's not um, the classic. Anyway, I, st I crash here, it's classic Charlie, hit into a pothole. These are all irrelevant, numbers are useless. Like this stage here, like you think I'm doing 360 watts like for five minutes, that is not good. And you can see like, I started off with decent numbers, early doors, like two minutes at 400 and then really cracked on on this climb, actually got spat on a climb, very sad. You can see here again, what was I cracking out? I was trying to crack out more intervals, but again, just feel terrible. And instead of saying like, oh, okay, maybe the body needs some time off. You can see here 310 watts for, for 12 minutes. And like just not really great to be honest. And then again, you can see like heart rate's barely getting over 170 for 300 watts. So again, you can just see like can't complete intervals, still doing decent hours like you see here, but again, like 125 heart rate for 190 normalized, like absolute cooked unit. And then, but the thing is you can't trust races because I did um, I did this ride here and like I got fifth in this race, did 208 normalized, like I was actually quite strong, but yeah and then went to Serbia and just terrible results, really. Numbers just shocking. Um, and then you can actually see this race here, I actually felt really good and felt significantly better than all the rest of them. This is like 208 normalized, three hours 20, like it was actually really good. Um, so you can see I was just cooked and what did I need? I just need some time off, just need some time off. Like, okay, I had this super, super easy week. This 20 minute test was embarrassing. We'll actually go through this. I didn't post this on Strava, I was that embarrassed because it was, it was horrendous. I actually went to Wales. I like drove to Wales to do it because I was like properly keen. 307 watts. Like that's gone down so much. You think that's gone down 11 watts and it's cracking up 20 hour weeks. Like it's unbelievable, isn't it? Like if we look at the peak power here as well, you can see like 10 minutes, 322 was okay, including the spike, but then it just got worse and worse. And again, you can see heart rate only 187. That's not good. So yeah, those are the big flags. The test numbers go down. You just cook to unit, can't do anything. Heart rate low. Zone two rides, you'll see they start to drop. Like if you look at my zone two rides, like averages. So this ride here, like it's quite easy, 190 normalized. Now we'll, we'll, we'll fast forward to post, so I had two weeks off, 
all the rest of it, you'll see straight out of off season, which was this 20 minute test, like 3.13, so five watts what I was off doing in like the peak season in, in, quote, in inverted commas. Um, and yeah, so that was kind of crazy. If we look at like my zone two rides, you'll see the heart rate is way higher. Also, I'm a bit fresher. Um, I classic don't have heart rate. I, I vary with having heart rate and not having it, but I think my heart rate blew up after Serbia and I didn't get it for ages, but at some point I do get it back. Oh yeah, here we go. 194 normalized heart rate, 130. That's like more normal. You also see like when I was cracking out these massive weeks, um, I actually, to be honest, like had more and more good hour, good uh, intensity. So you can see here I did a 35 hour week, but like if you look at the average power, it's like close to 200 normalized, which is decent. So yeah, you can really see like some rest and some time off is good. I had a mini not feeling good here and took some good time off and now I feel really strong again. Um, and like, I'll show you again, like what were the warning signs for me to like have some time off? Cause I'm like pretty motivated. So you can see here, like for me, it's, it's, I have the time. So I binned off half an hour here. Okay. That's not great. I did an hour instead of five, had a day off the bike, then went out, tried to do some intensity, couldn't do it. I, I changed the ride cause it was just like, that's basically what it was. But then I did some efforts here. You can see I did an hour here. Okay, it was all not good. You can see I did three hours here. It was just, the, the whole thing was, was rubbish. So I said, feel rough, took a rest week. And then you'll see again, like um, I worked quite a lot that week, but then did a 20 minute test and it was um, actually not too bad. 320 watts, so decent. So we're getting, we're getting okay. Um, and then you can see we're starting to crack out some decent intensity again with some over-unders. Um, and these ones were done on the turbo, but the first ones done outside was on Wednesday. Um, and you'll see like the, the numbers are really, really promising, like getting close to like 300 watts um, on these ones, which is really nice to see. So yeah, I guess it's a, been a bit of a rambling video, but the key thing to take into consideration from this video is that if you are a cooked unit, just take some time off um, and remember the red flags of not doing intervals, uh, heart rate not getting high on intervals, heart rate being really low on, on, on easy rides, um, and ignore race results because you can just black them, especially in the UK where it's not that hilly. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one.